This ride started with 30 cyclists with a desire to raise awareness and to raise money for the Canadian Mental Health Association. We will have over 4,000 cyclists. That's enormous growth in a period of five years. We have now 20 rides across Canada, 13 in BC, one in Calgary, one in Regina, five in Ontario, and we're gonna pass three quarters of a million dollars. One of the things that happens when you have a mental illness is that you get isolated from your friends, your family, your job. And so to see this many people coming out and saying, it's okay and we support you, the effect of that I don't think can be measured. This kind of event normalizes our different mental health issues that we go through in our lifetime, makes it just something that we talk about like any other health issue. It also puts a focus on the health part. Today's day and age, we all have to have mental health to be able to function properly as a healthy community. My sister actually um, deals with depression on a regular basis. Uh, she's riding in the ride this year, so knowing that there's support there, knowing that it isn't something to be ashamed of and there is a place to go get help, helps tremendously and that's what rides like this do. Uh, mental illness is uh, still unfortunately got a lot of stigma around it and uh, there's a lot of negative portrayals of what mental illness looks like in, in the media. And I realized that there's got to be a, another, another story out there. People that are dealing with their mental health challenges and getting through life, telling their story to counterbalance the, the negative portrayals that we so often hear. I'm bipolar and I suffer from depression. And I spent uh, 19 days in the psychiatric ward on the North Shore. I started getting really bad anxiety, uh, panic attacks every second day. Eventually I couldn't go to work. It's when I left the psych ward and I went into my community that I felt stigmatized. I needed to reach out and I needed to listen to my friends. Got diagnosed, sought out help, did some CBT and I'm actually getting a lot better. Now when I meet youth on the North Shore, I tell them like it's okay to talk about your mental illness. I still have my days but that's why I'm here. It's okay to raise your voice and say I struggle. Everyone just loves to be loved so it's a good feeling. My brother took his life a couple of years ago and we're riding him. Yeah. The 20 kilometer ride today and the 10 kilometer ride, you saw so many families and kids so that the next generation of Canadians are not going to have the preconceptions, hopefully, as, as much and they're not going to feel the stigma. You don't have to be an avid cyclist to ride and ride, don't hide. This is a community event for people of all cycling abilities. So I would say come out and give it a go. Ride, don't hide, 2015, come join us.